make that the goal to see if people really enjoyed it. We'll do a part two. We could go on forever. Coming at you with part two, you guys did it. We're at 250 likes on our macro hacks, top 15 tips. It's gonna be part two, we got 10 more. These are just as good as the first, if not better. Let's dive into it. People are already looking at us like we're crazy because we probably are. <laughs> All right, macro hack number one. This one's super simple, but we're gonna go deeper into it. So number one, if you guys are on our newsletter list, you will know this already. We eat vegetables before all our major meals, so that's our goal is to pack our day full of vegetables, especially with the If It Fits Your Macros diet, as we'll eat other kinds of foods, but we want to make sure first and foremost that we're hitting our micronutrients as well as our fibers. So for vegetables, you have limitless options, but as a macro hack, I'm going to show you one thing that could be really good for your situation or really horrible. Saying so, a lot of you guys are going to go out, grab your salad, your iceberg lettuce, but I'm going to let you know that some of these are not your best choices. Something like iceberg lettuce is very processed still and it's actually really just water. It doesn't contain very high levels of micronutrients. You're a lot better to go off with harder things like spinach, really true, gritty, earthy, nice vegetables. They'll feel really good, they feel amazing and it kind of provides some balance, especially with that if it fits your macro standpoint. I could eat donuts all day, sleep my vegetables, and I could feel okay. I wouldn't recommend that. That's something I would advertise to help you out. Saying so though, if you're just looking for a ton of food volume with little to no calories, you're dying on a diet, you can just eat a whole bag of this and it will come to like no effect. I believe the entire bag, it's hard to say because this is with the Caesar sauce, but it'd only be something like 60, 70 calories. So that's one really good option. So when you're buying meats, beefs, everything, you gotta think of your current situation. If I'm in a bulk, I can be way more lenient. I got that higher fat and go out, I can be having beefs, I can have a ton of pork, and I can really utilize those fun meats. But if I'm deep in a deficit and I'm being very sparing with food, I have to be ultra sensitive and very vigilant in my food choices here. So if I get like a high fat, normal kind of just grocery store, run of the mill kind of beef versus a very lean beef. One is really gonna affect my situation better if I'm gonna cut and it's gonna afford me to have more food, feel more full and improve my food satiety. Past that, if you guys just want a really healthy macro hack version of beef in itself, uh, I really recommend grass-fed beef. It has significantly better macros. There's tons of studies showing the positives when they actually feed the cows with grass as opposed to all the other crap they're giving them just to get this supermarket steroid. You want non-steroid use beef as well and that's something to look out for. The macros reflect and actually taste way better. Tip number three, we all know the end of the day is danger zone. What I like to do is I like to allocate about 200 calories for, for foods like broccoli, cucumber, anything that's really vitamin dense and also very high in volume. Um, a lot of people tend to really grab for those sweets or anything extremely high in calories at the end of the day. So it's extremely nice to know that you have a little bit of food to munch on, knowing that you're not gonna be throwing off your goals. Put the lime in the coconut to drink a bowl. Put the lime in the coconut to drink a bowl. For those of you who are like me and they love having a flavored drink on them, maybe a sugary drink, swap it out for lemon or a lime. These little guys taste great and they might potentially have some benefits towards your immune system. So substitute this in and drink your lemon water. This has no specific relevance to anything and it might not help you all that much, but I love friggin' diet cranberry juice. It's 10 calories a serving, so this whole thing, I believe there's five servings, is 50 calories. I know Mike Rosa from Anabolic Aliens is also big on it. It just seems to be like, this is gonna be the new monster energy of YouTubers. I'm telling you, diet cranberry, get on it. It just tastes so good, it's so low calorie. It's just a random hack. I don't know, that's what this video is. Who cares? <laughs> They're on sale too, dude. Oh, bro. This bad boy too, last time we went cliff jumping, we even, uh, we kind of went up to the 10 cal iced tea. Honestly though, they're so expensive, so get them when they're cheap and enjoy them. What about that aspartame dome? Our sweeteners, artificial sweeteners, bad for you. For those of you who struggle to hit your protein intake, I highly recommend trying any type of beef jerky, incorporating it into your day. It's very high in protein, low in fat. It is kind of high in sodium, but sodium will not kill you. Check out the top right for this card where we talk about it and break down that myth. Try beef jerky, enjoy it, love it. This is a tip that changed my life and it will change yours if you don't already know. I feel like everyone knows kind of from the YouTuber grapevine, but that's okay. So essentially there's sauces, right? Everyone loves chocolate, it's so good, we all love it. Walden Farms and other companies, go ahead, sorry. We're just practicing oh. for high school, high school film, yeah. Excuse me, dude. <laughs> 
gone ahead and make dieting easy with zero calorie chocolate sauces that actually taste friggin' amazing. I put on everything, I put on oatmeal, it spices up my boring, bland foods, kind of gives me life and I feel none of the repercussion. I'm able to enjoy chocolate and caramel with no harm. Canada sucks, so unfortunately we have nothing here, but I know in American supermarkets you can pick up like Hershey's low calorie kind of thing. So play around, find the best alternative and enjoy. Western society, y'all, me, you're watching a sick video, you wanna eat something, don't grab the Miss Vickies, these suckers are 270 cals, 29 carbs, and they got like 16 fat. There's so many better snack alternatives. We're just gonna give you one awesome hack. Popcorn is the king. So much fiber, not movie theater popcorn, not buttered popcorn, straight popcorn. This is only 100 calories a bag, let's just go over the macros. One fat, 19 carbs, and three protein. It's so simple, you can enjoy this bag, you can eat it, you can munch down September 2nd, you're ready for that Narcos, you can enjoy it, and that's all you need. Okay, this is something I'm very passionate about. If you know me, you'll know this is something I really preach. I'm lactose intolerant, so I really struggled, and I really loved milk my whole life, so when I couldn't have it anymore, it really sucked. And then I kind of just switched to lactose milk, which is still, you're talking like 130 calories a cup, whatever, you're in that ballpark. Simple switch, switch out for almond milk, Right here, this sucker, 30 calories a cup. It's incredible. Overall, you're just gonna save so many calories throughout the day. It's a small but very important change that you can make to your diet. Almond milk also has a ton of benefits, and I would even argue that you want to avoid lactose and anything as much as possible, but that's for another video. Teach him about that syrup, pal. Oh yeah, bud. Oh yeah, bud. We're Canadian, so we know our syrups. Let's look at this 100% pure maple syrup. It's in a fancy container, so everyone's probably like, ooh, it's so good. Uh, calories are 220, 54 grams of carbs, 50 grams of sugar. Now, if you guys are passionate about pancakes and waffles like Josh and myself, you guys will know Edie Smith is your best friend. You guys will want to put it on your pancakes. Let's look at the facts. Three tablespoons, so the exact same as that. Seven grams of carbs, 30 calories. Highly recommend putting Edie Smith on your pancake. You guys can literally have like 10 times the syrup and it just tastes amazing. Like you guys don't even know what you're missing out on if you haven't tried it. Once again, I have an oatmeal addiction. If you have me on my fitness file and you create me, I've been just loving oatmeal lately. And the reason I really like it is like you hear about like my oatmeal and all that crap. I don't know too much about it, but it is just so versatile. And if you want to add some spice to your diet, there's just it's such a good staple and you can just add on top of the oatmeal. So you can eat like the same thing and it's just steady. Oats are so good for you, they're so healthy. They feel hearty in your stomach, but you can add peanut butter, you can add almond, you can add that no calorie chocolate sauce. It's like the ultimate macro recipe hack. Because an idiot like me can cook, who doesn't really cook too many things, I just toss in a bunch of crab and every day I can have different things and I can make it bend to my macros so well. So it's really fun and you can get really cool flavors like cookies and cream and the macros are still pretty solid. It's 160 calories packet, 28 carbs, three protein, 3.5 fat. For some cookies and cream, toss on some chocolate sauce, maybe some hemp hearts. I'm, I'm keeping that one for myself. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. These were our top 10 macro hacks, part two. If you haven't seen part one, you can watch it here. Also, if you guys want to check out that aspartame video, once again, we mentioned earlier, you can also watch that here. Thank you so much for checking in. If this gets, let's up the ante, 275 likes. We're gonna make a how to log video. Everyone has been requesting this. So that's definitely next in the queue. Love you guys, peace.